The Park Rapids All Veterans Memorial has just expanded with the opening of its new museum. Haiti Clatter shows us how Park Rapids remembers all fallen heroes. God bless America. 16 years later, it's a date that many will never forget, 9-11. 9-11 was the reason we really got money to build the memorial in the first place. In Park Rapids, the day commemorates Patriot Day and the opening of the All Veterans Memorial Museum. The All Veterans Memorial Grounds began as a part of the Disabled American Veterans Chapter 38 and opened in 2003. We're honoring our fellow veterans, both those that have served and those that are going to serve and are presently serving. The museum is phase two of the memorial where $100,000 was raised to go along with the $100,000 grant from the state to fund the building. I've been waiting for this for 20 years. A crowd was eager to go inside. Once inside, there are military artifacts such as uniforms, combat boots, and even the meals ready to eat on display. It helps the public see and understand what these veterans had to put up with during the war. It's just amazing, and I'm glad that we have the support that we do. Uh, a lot of people have donated a lot of stuff, stuff I haven't even seen. Vietnam veteran Roger Boyce donated his cot and mosquito bed to the museum. With more than 2,000 veterans in Hubbard County seeing the support from the community means a lot to him. You know what, Park Rapids did a really great job supporting the veterans and it wasn't quite the same as it was when we came back from Vietnam. It was quite different, but, uh, but things have changed and people are doing a much better job. A project 14 years in the making has now come to fruition for all veterans. Support the troops. In Park Rapids, Haiti Clotter, Lakeland News. Stone sweatshirts and t-shirts were sold to help raise money for that memorial. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.